So there's the CD. Okay. I am going to put it in my computer and I am going to show you exactly what I did. Oh, let me just take this out of the cover. As you can see, should say here probably the copyright. Try to focus in. Copyright 1996 by Houghton Mifflin. Focus. Mifflin Company, published by Huth Interactive, all rights reserved. Curious George is a registered trademark of the Houghton Mifflin Company, Margaret and H.A. Ray's Curious George. HMI and the HMI logo are trademarks of Houghton Mifflin Company. Windows is a registered trademark of Microsoft Corporation. All other trademarks are property of the respective owners. So this is by the actual company, I believe, of Curious George. I'm going to just put it in, huh? Oh, I can't see anything. There we go. It's there. And I have my Windows 7 computer on. Just waiting. There we go. So there it is. I try to run it. it. Says that I can't run it because this version is not compatible. So I'll just go to my control or go to my computer. And then go to the DVD drive. And there are the files. Now I already tried to run these, but they won't run in compatibility mode, so I went here, I went to book, stories, color, and these are all the, this is where I got the photos from. I don't think the other, the other files in the CD-ROM are not, they can't be read because they're a different format. See, like .smk, .anm, .pcx, .fl. See, but these I think are images. I'm not quite sure. However, I know that the only ones that you can see, I believe, are the book photos. The other ones are just random files. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll find a. Yeah. Exit. Map. Nope. Mm, yeah, no. Oh, by the way, the timestamps on the CD-ROM, the files in here, are 1996, which means they have not been altered in any way whatsoever. They are the same as exactly when they were from 1996. So you can see there, exactly the same. So I'm just going to go back to the color photos. Let me see if I can turn the images on again. Extra large icon. There we go. So there you go. There are the photographs that I found. Um, hopefully this helps. I'll open this one. There he is. He has no tail. He's talking to a lady for the fruit stand. Let's see if I can find one with the yellow hat guy. Uh, sorry if the images are loading too slow. It's running from the disc. Here he is. Well, there's the yellow hat guy. He's not with. Uh, he's not really with um, George. But anyway. Here are the photos. Yeah, I mean, these are from the actual game. Like, these aren't from anything else. I literally just went to my C drive. 
I just I just literally went to the DVD drive and showed you that these are the files from the DVD drive. So I did not pull them from Google. I did not do anything of that sort. And if you look at the bottom, it even says date created 5-28-1996. So yeah. All right. Anyway, hopefully this helps people who think that he had a tail. I don't really remember him having a tail, but then again, I do remember him having a tail at the same time. Like, I remember him having a tail at one point, but then not having a tail at the same time, and it was it was confusing. But anyway, uh, this is just what I found. I mean, these are old files anyway, so yeah. Thanks for watching, I guess. Bye.